Hey guys, so you're doing your news item and I'm just going to give you a couple of tips just to get your heads around using the camera on your Surface Pro and just some tips around maybe cheating the system and getting some effects uh, using uh, PowerPoint. Alright, watch this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is having a look at the camera app and if we launch the camera app, a couple options you want to have a look at. Um, uh, to do with obviously you've got your zoom ability, uh, you've got the ability to flip your camera in each direction. Just know that the camera on the back of your device is actually a higher resolution than the one on your front, only slightly, um, but just uh, be aware of that. The other one you can look, have a look at is the settings for the camera and what is really good is sometimes like the framing grid, rule of thirds. So what you're trying to do with rule of thirds is have someone's eyes appear on that, uh, on that uh, top two thirds. Just a bit of a guide that appears just to help you frame your shots a bit nicer. Uh, so I like turning that on. I'll um, close those settings and <clears throat> then you'll need to toggle onto your video option. Um, just be aware things like lighting. So if you've got lighting coming into the room, like if I put this camera up uh, and absorb a lot of the lighting, you can see that the plant in front um, has actually gone quite dark. Whereas if I control the amount of light that comes into the camera, I can get a better shot. And even if I come across and maybe use the light that's coming in from outside, I now get a, a completely different shot to um, what um, what I would have started with. So just be aware of uh, getting the best position for your lighting. And if you can move lights around, do so. But otherwise, you might need to find that you need to move furniture and stuff to get into the best spots. So just a little bit on lighting. So I've dropped the video into PowerPoint and I've actually created a, uh, a banner here with some text on it and I've dropped the PowerPoint image which is like a picture in picture effect. Um, so a couple of things you can do is obviously click on the video playback and make that um, play automatically. And uh, there are some options to trim the video, just the bookends, not really clip bits in between. And so if you're looking to do that, you might want to use Movie Maker instead. Um, but keep watching this because there's a couple of tools that might make it uh, easy for you to do that. All right, so then pretty much from here, um, I'm going to go into the slideshow and then click on rehearse timings. The picture goes full screen. I'm going to press play. And at the point where I'll just fast forward here and I, at the point that I point to my left, I'm going to then press space bar so that that picture in picture appears. At the end of that process, you'll just get asked, do you want to keep your timings? And you say yes to that. Now, the very last step in the process, if you are going to use Movie Maker for editing your video, is to click on File and Save As. And of course, many times we just come to PowerPoint and save that as a PowerPoint presentation. But if you arrow it down in this file type, you'll see it makes an MP4 video. Now, whether you use Movie Maker or um, PowerPoint to, for your news item, the very last step in the process is to end up with an MP4 video. So, um, Movie Maker will do exactly that, and most of your teachers will instruct you then to upload. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our portal and go to Office 365 and get logged in. And when you do uh, go in Office 365, you're going to see a stream option. Now, if you don't see a stream option, please click on the Explore All Your Apps. Uh, just underneath your tiles and you'll find stream and when you click on stream you're going to then find a space where you can click on create and then upload a video and then just simply drag your finished product into this space and you'll have a prompt to publish it once it has been uploaded. Uh, it will generate an email that will come to you letting you know it's been published and it's ready and that you can just forward that email to your teacher so they can view it. I hope that helps and uh, be in touch if you need any help.